Some German verbs, of course. Sein, haben, gehen, fahren, schlafen. Boring. Hey Rabbits, Trixie here and when you want to communicate in a foreign language then it's super important to have some useful verbs at hand. To be, to have, to go, to drive, to swim, to sleep, to eat. Teachers are going to tell you about it and you'll find them in every textbook. But isn't that a little bit lame? What about the weird verbs that Germans use from time to time and that they themselves find a little bit strange. You know, those funny sounding verbs that describe very special activities. In today's video, I want to present some of these verbs to you. Verbs that must sound very awkward to strangers and that make me myself giggle as well sometimes. A small interesting fact first. During my research, I found that verbs ending with LN have the highest likelihood of being the real oddballs. So here we go. Funny German verbs that textbooks don't tell you about. Let me know in the comments what you think of the verbs I'm going to present to you or if you're a German, if you use them, if you find them funny, tell me everything. Let's start with the beautiful German verb bummeln. You can say ich bummele when you are walking down the pedestrian precinct looking for some clothes but at the same time not really looking for them, you know, just strolling around having a look here and there. However, it doesn't have to include shopping. You can also bummel along a river but mostly I use it when I'm like, you know, in the city center, not really in need of anything but, you know, buying something anyways. Very similar to bummeln would be the German verb trödeln. It also means something like to Dilly dally. Next up, schmökern. This can be used when you're browsing a really interesting book. You really dive into the story or, you know, you just go page by page looking here and there. That's schmökern. Another verb that I would like to talk about is wuscheln. It means to tonsil somebody's hair. Jemandem durch die Haare wuscheln. Don't we all love it? Ah, bist du aber groß geworden? If you are on a party and you're sitting on a bench in between of a lot of people and your favorite song starts playing but you cannot dance because of all these people, then what you can do is schunkeln. Schunkeln basically means that you dance while you're seated. And it kind of looks like this. Optionally, you can grab your seat neighbor's arms and dance along with him. Let's stay on the imaginary party. Normally when I'm at a party, there is some point where I get a bit bored. So what do you do? You spot some candlelights and you start playing around with them. Grabbing a piece of tissue, twisting it around, holding it into the flame and you know, just do some bullshit with it. In German, this special activity is called koken. You know, play around with fire in a pretty random and playful way. Let's speak about the strange German verb wuseln now. Just imagine a lot of fluffy bunny rabbits all sitting together, a big ball of fur, and all of them are moving. One is moving here, one is moving there. You just see this ball of epic cuteness moving in different directions. Yeah, pretty much wuseln. Have you ever been in the following situation? Your roommate has bought this amazingly tasty yogurt and it has been sitting in the fridge for a quite a while. Is he going to eat it? Is it free to eat for you? Because obviously he doesn't actually want it. If you determine that it's fine for you to eat the yogurt, then you do something called schnorren. Schnorren means that you take something from somebody, that you take advantage of somebody, to scrounge something. Uh, it wasn't me. It can also be used if you're, for example, living with somebody else without paying rent. Then you could be called something like der Schmarotzer, but of course only if the other person disagrees with this lifestyle. Whenever I put actual effort in it, I think my handwriting can be described as pretty, but when it has to be quick, I used to kraken a lot. That means that you're writing in a pretty ugly way. It looks something like this, for example. Maybe you've already heard the German verbs schreien and rufen. They mean to shout or to call for somebody. But have you also encountered krakelen already? I bet not. Krakelen also translates to to shout, but in a very annoying way, with a very ugly voice. Schreien! Komm her, Benny Mama! 
Yep, that's krakeln. Next funny German verb, foppen. No, not feppen. It has nothing to do with that. Foppen means to make a fool out of somebody. Ich foppe euch. I make a fool out of you, which I would of course never do. The next one is super cute and I included it because it has something to do with rabbits. It's schnuppern. Have you ever seen a cute baby pony sniffing with its tiny furry nose? Well, that's schnuppern. Mmm, carrots. When you have a really nasty booger on your... F <coughs> when you have a little bug on your finger and you want to get rid of it, you fling it away, right? Do you know what that is in German? Well, the verb is called schnipsen. It can mean two different things. Etwas wegschnipsen or schnipsen, as in to snap with your fingers. Attention, please! Talking about your fingers, there's also the German verb knibben. It means that you're continuously playing around with your fingers in a nervous way or even picking off some skin from the side. Something similar to that would be fummeln. It also describes a nervous hand movement. You're touching your own body because you're kind of unsettled. Or you touch another person's body, but not in a nervous way then. Well, actually, maybe you are nervous. Trixie, what's the point? Oh, yeah, what I mean is that fummeln can also mean that you're fondling someone for sexual pleasure. You know, the petting kind of thing. The first attempts on approaching another person's body. Two more verb oddballs left, with the first one being Gurken. When you're like me and you hate going by car, then Gurken is something that you may do from time to time. It means that you're driving a car in a really slow and annoying way, in a way that the people behind you are starting to get nervous and a little bit angry. Gurken literally translates to to cucumber. And yeah, I think we can all agree that cucumbers don't move so much, so it's a pretty fitting verb. A car that by itself only moves very slowly can also be called die Gurke. Last but not least, the German verb geiern, to vulture. From all kinds of cartoons, vultures are known for cycling over almost dead animals, waiting for them to die so that they can feast on them. Well, regarding this, I think that Gaian is a perfect choice for the activity that it describes. Gaian basically means that you're waiting to get something that is currently owned by somebody else. Let's say you have a rich uncle and you're waiting for him to die so that you can get all the money. Be careful, Uncle Simon. The stairs may be extra slippery today. Thank you so much for watching this video today, rabbits. I hope you had fun. I hope you may have learned something new. Let me know in the comments whether you found these verbs interesting, if you knew them already, or if they sounded completely odd and new to you. If you liked the video, please leave a thumbs up because that would make me really, really happy. If you want to watch another video of Don't Trust a Rabbit, you can find one right here. You can also follow me on Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, or even support me on Patreon. This would be a great channel for the help, a great help for the channel. <laughs> now I wish you all a very beautiful day. Check out my other videos if you'd like to, and hopefully we are gonna see each other in my next video. Bye!